Is this the most important part of the golf swing? Well, in my opinion, yes. Impact is obviously critical. It doesn't really matter what we're doing here if we can deliver the club into a good position here, here, here. Impact is critical, but because we can't realistically stop at impact and judge how good it is, in my opinion, this is the most important part of the golf swing. And what I really want to see on this movement, there's a number of things here, but what I really want to focus on today's video is the body movement and the arm structure post impact because it's so critical for so many areas of the golf swing. It can help improve the swing path, improve the shot shape, it can help the quality of contact and also power development. So what I really want to see at this stage, let's talk about where the club is parallel to the ground just post impact. What I'd love to see is my lead side extended, so I want my lead leg to have straightened. I'd like my body to be rotated, that's my pelvis and my torso. I'd like my arms both to reach full extension, so I don't want them in here towards my body and towards my rib cage. And in terms of a club face position, I'd really like to, at that stage, start to see the toe of the golf club pretty much straight up, up in the air there. Now, in terms of the position of the shaft and the handle, at this stage, if we could get the club shaft so it's about in line with my feet, okay, so parallel left of my target line for me as a right-handed golfer, in line with my feet. And I often do an exercise just using an alignment stick. And I'd place that alignment stick for the golfer just in front of, so if I set up to this one, just in front of their feet, parallel to their target line, in about the middle of my shoe. And I'm just trying to get them to a position, this needs to be a little bit further left, where we can stop here and almost match the club shaft to the alignment stick on the ground. Because the other benefit this is having, it's getting my hand path moving a little bit more inward to the left. We are swinging on an arc. A lot of golfers are trying to swing too much down the target line. Now, if the club actually does move down the target line, you would end up seeing the end of the grip pointing back to the downline camera I have in place here. So there ends up being a lot of hand manipulation. Now, it may well be that you need some of that hand manipulation in your golf swing. It'll generally be that you've got the club face too open in the downswing, therefore you're having to manipulate. But I would, if that is you, I would look at, could you improve the club face in the downswing through your wrist angles or perhaps maintaining some posture tilt here to improve that club face. We're not going to talk about that too much today, but I will put a link just here that I think is well worth checking out, talking about the wrist angles and the club face in the downswing if that is an issue you have. Let's say we're in a pretty good delivery position where the club face is slightly turned down. All we've really got to do is keep our body rotating. Now, I'm not suggesting there isn't hands and arms in the golf swing, but a lot of golfers have too much hands and arms. So we're going to be focusing on the body movement and the body dominating. So my focus point here, I'm going to go ahead and hit one, is really going to be a, a couple of bits. Chest rotating. Body extending. Good arm structure with my arms extended out away from my body, not in here. Now this worries a lot of golfers. They're worried about generally this extension part, their body rising into impact. Because their mates have told them to keep their head down, keep their eye on the back of the ball, they're thinking they need to look at the club, make contact with the golf ball, which is never really gonna happen. And they're worried about their body straightening. But believe me, all good golfers are moving this way into impact. So we start to see the handle actually rising. We start to see the body extending upwards through impact. And again, that is a big concept issue. Remember that the lowest point of the golf swing with my hands is actually before I hit the golf ball. The hands are moving upwards and ideally a little bit inwards through the strike here with my iron. Okay, so up and inwards and this great arm structure through the golf ball. I'm just gonna build it up. And I'm just gonna do one more, where I'm gonna do it in more of a three-quarter swing. That's what I really want to see. Now, this drill actually has a lot of benefits, not just what I've mentioned there, but being able to stop here 
actually is also teaching me to be able to decelerate the golf club efficiently. We've got to be able to slow the club down to make sure that we can reach maximum speed, maximum energy at impact. So it's actually really good, not only for working on this body movement, but being able to decelerate the golf club efficiently. With one last full shot, just putting those those ideas in place. Now this is going to be a longer finish position, but ideally just post impact, I'm getting to a similar position. So here, it's just the momentum of the club that's going to be carrying my body through. Okay. Always pose that finish position. You can tell I've hit it good. Up tall, body facing, parallel left to target line, really felt like my body was rotating and rising through the strike. I know if you can give that simple drill a go, just doing lots of small swings to here, focusing on that body movement and that arm structure is really going to improve your quality of strike and make sure you play some better golf next time you get on the course.